Panda's Kingdom, Episode 24, Tessa Ting the Limits, yeah. Zeliana, this is Squirtle. He comes from Panda's Kingdom. He will be your newest friend or accomplice, I guess you should say here. Are you telling me that I have to share this cramped little castle with another person? I don't even know who you are. And any debt that I owed you has been repaid. I don't want to stay here anymore. Well, that's a problem too, because I don't want to be here, he he be here either. <laughs> oh my god. I shouldn't have saved him when the rock fell on his head. <laughs> the rock? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Obviously, you have a concussion because you sound like a dying whale. Trust me, I would know. I've killed many whales in my day. You killed whales? That's animal cruelty. <laughs> well, have you know I'm a marine biologist and whale killing is a crime? <laughs> You know what? You two can work this out. Zeliana don't kill him. I'm leaving. Wait, you can't just leave me with him. He just did. <coughs> so why don't you want to tell me about your whale killing crimes, lady? I know a lot about marine life and you're gonna hear all of it. Oh boy. My favorite. Why don't I just sit back and relax. That would be best. <laughs> it would be totally ideal. <laughs> Here, Foxy. I've done everything I can to hide your true identity. But if you're going to go around uh, willy-nilly and stirring up drama with inside towns, I can't hide who you truly are anymore. It doesn't matter how much you pay me if you make the job impossible. I never meant to make the job impossible. I just tried to make it a little bit more interesting. Well, I'm saying one of these days, your job isn't going to just be a little bit in- My job isn't just going to be a little bit interesting. It's going to be the end of your life. You need to stop being so reckless. You're lucky that Adeline hasn't found you yet. Cause if she did, she'd rip you limb from limb, Foxy. Please, just stop stirring up trouble. I've been missing from the village for days and the people are starting to get worried. And how do you know that? I don't need to explain myself to you. I just need you to know not to ever speak that person's name again because if you do they will connect the dots and you will be locked up in prison for your crimes and so will you for hiding a criminal but you know what they say that's how the cookie crumbles you know what I say I say please Shut up, and let me speak. Actually, I have a different proposal for you, Katone. Why don't I share it with you? I'd love to hear it. Now, Katone, you listen to me. If you make a, any type of move, I'll put this bullet right through your head. Huh, that's kind of funny. Are you mocking me? I have a gun. I can shoot you at any moment. That's really funny, actually. You think that you have any type of advantage over me. This is ridiculous. I swear, Katone. Don't make me pull this trigger. I'd like to see you try. Fine. What the? That's impossible. Ugh, he would switch himself out with a dummy. Wait, what's that holding? Huh, what's in the package? Huh, what is this? Very-
And that's it. That's the end of this video diary. That's what happened on my little vacation. I thought it was really fun. It really went out with a bang. Yeah. You listen up, Paula. You're a low-paid piece of garbage who thinks you can write a fashion blog and you show up in my city spying on me. Well, you have another thing coming and it's not going to be friendly. Hmm. Tessa, what a nice outfit from the 80s. I'm doing perfectly fine for myself, I'll have you know. I was just looking in to see how you decorated the place. It's not my place to decorate, Paula. And this isn't your town to be in with your outdated, ugly clothes. My clothes were never outdated. This is the new fashion. Sure, Paula. This is just... no. You need to get out of my town now. Oh wait, you can't because I'm holding a gun to your head. This is going to be your n new home. The guard... well, the guard before he died redecorated it, apparently. And now it looks more scary and fitting for you. And if you try to escape, I'll make sure personally that my people put you down, test. I mean, Paula. Hmm. <laughs> this place is quite comfy. Of course, your people would have decorated it. It looks kind of ugly. That's the point, Paula. Get used to it. Tessa, think fast. Ow, she threw... Ugh. She threw a potion on me. Ugh, I feel sick. Oh, honey. Paula. You came. You came back. After all these years, I can swear that never thought she'd see you again. Paula, please, please tell me you're not in trouble. Uh, yeah, that's the thing. I'm in a lot of trouble. Tessa's mad at me. Furious, to be exact. I just escaped her. She was about to kill me. Tessa? Tessa? I knew it! She's evil! I've tried to tell the people. I've tried to protect them. Every town Tessa goes to dies. They all get locked away. They all fade into the background. One no longer Consuela needs to protect you. You can live in Consuela's basement until Tessa has calmed down. That's the thing. I don't think Tessa will calm down, Consuela. Well, me, me fix all the problems. Don't worry. Consuela will save you. Consuela will save all. Consuela won't let another village die. Consuela has worked too hard for this. I've cleaned too much for this. I'm not hiding another dead body for that girl. Even if it means costing my own life. Please, don't talk like that, Consuela. We'll find a way. I know we will, but you, you need to run. Tessa's not one to forgive and forget. She holds a grudge until the day you die. If anything, right now, Tessa's contemplating your death. Please, stay safe, Paula. I will. Tessa. Why did you call me here so urgently? You almost called me to get all these supplies together as if you needed them. Have you found a witch to burn? Usually I don't bring out my medieval torture devices, but burning people at the stake is a hobby. Yeah, isn't that a little bit weird considering what you are? I'm a magics user, I'll have you know. That I prefer the witch only if you're paying me. So unless you're gonna give me like eighty thousand dollars, or you know what, twenty gold coins to be generous, I don't think you should be entitled to call me that. Well, anyways, I needed these because I want to track down Paula Polar and burn her at the stake. 
because she's no better than a witch. And she deserves whatever fate befalls her. That's a little bit extreme, but I'd never deny you your happiness. See, this is why you're my favorite out of all the townspeople. You truly understand a good witch burning. Again! Please call it a disgusting human burning, not a witch burning. Witches is a term that is insulting to my people. Ugh. You better find Paula fast. Because my bloodlust is growing. It always has, ever since I've known you. Well, yeah, we've been friends since we were kids. I just realized, Tessa has four letters in her name. I bet that would taste good. You better not lay a finger on her, or I will come up there, so help me, Victor, and I will kill you. I was kidding. Maybe. Don't joke around, Victor. You know, magic swings faster than any sword or claws. So you better watch yourself if you ever try anything like that. I will. Ugh. Victor, get out. Fine. So Consuela, why did you open up this psychiatric place within this town? Consuela thought with Tessa being the queen, we'd need some psychiatric help. What do you have against Tessa? She acts nice, but she's the thing you call demonic. What did you say? I said she's bad ruler. She's too obsessed with fashion. That's not what she said. Does it matter what I said? I'm the psychiatrist. I ask all the questions. So, what problems you? What? Where am I? What's happened? Oh my god. There's blood everywhere. I can't see anything. What the? This is... This is something else. Something is not right here. What? Where am I? What the? It's everyone who's died. You didn't protect us. Why didn't you protect us? You didn't protect us. Why didn't you protect us? You didn't protect us. Second. 